Actor, which stands for Black Entertainment, Film, Fashion, Television and Arts UK, recognises talent from the Black, Asian and Caribbean communities in the United Kingdom and globally. Well, past winners include the international singing star Beyoncé, X Factor winner Alexandra Burke and the actor and screenplay writer Noel Clark. Well, I'm delighted to say that I'm joined in the studio by the BEFTA founder Pauline Long oh, and organiser Theodora Ibeque Oibade. A very good morning to both of you ladies. Good morning. In your opinion, and any one of you can answer this really, why do you think the BEFTAs are so important? Um, I think that um, we are a community of, you know, hard-working people, you know, we contribute a lot within the film, fashion, TV and arts. But at the end of the year, we don't see ourselves at the BAFTAs, we don't see ourselves at the Oscars. So, hence, I decided to found the BEFTA, which is the Black Entertainment Film, Fashion, TV Awards. Mm. Yes. And I mean, the, the thing is, it's, do you, you feel that as well that perhaps the black community is a little bit shy about shouting from the rooftops and saying, look, here we are, look at all the things that we've done? <laughs> I, I think we're not shy. I think we've just knocked too many doors and they're not being opened. And then we, we've just decided, you know what, right, that's it. We're going to do it for ourselves. We're going to celebrate ourselves. And the thing about Beft Awards is people just come to appreciate one another. People come to honour one another. You know, when they're doing their interviews on the red carpet, they're like, you know what, I don't care if I don't win. I'm just here to celebrate everyone. It's just good to have everybody under one roof. Yeah, so that's yes. pretty cool. I mean, you've been through the BEFTA experience as well, haven't you, Theodora? Because okay. you also won an award. I mean, tell us about what you won it for. Okay, last year I won the BEFTA award for Best Producer, because I'm a film producer and also rising star. I was really excited because I've been nominated five times. I only won it last year. <laughs> <laughs> I was really excited. But you, you got there in the end. Perseverance yes. paid okay. off. Yeah. But I mean, you, you're, you're a very busy woman because you said, okay, I'm a producer, but there's a lot more to you than that because, you know, you're also an actress, you also write, you're an entrepreneur. So you're organising this. How do you find the time to run your career and organise this event, get, bearing in mind that it, it runs for two days and it is huge? Seriously, it's, it's hard work. But because I have a passion for entertainment and the arts, I, I really don't feel it. I do a lot of things, just like Pauline. She's coming from Northampton. She's in London two times a day. So if she can do it, I can do it. Oh, no, that, sounds, that sounds pretty positive. So there's, there's, no, there's no argument with that. But I mean, what also makes it quite a challenge as well is that, and I alluded to this in the introduction, yeah. okay, it's happening in the UK. Yes, it is. But this is international. There's a BEFTAs in the United States. Yes. And you've targeted the Caribbean as well. Jamaica, <laughs> to be precise, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, we're coming to Africa, I think Nigeria, it's between Nigeria and Kenya at the moment, but most likely it's going to go to Nigeria. So you're chasing the diaspora with the awards there? Yes, yes. <laughs> but it, it is a huge list, because I've actually seen the yes. nominees, and it runs over two days. How do, how do you go about choosing people? It's a whole year of, of research, yeah. you know, I, I, I'm actually the lead researcher, I stay up until 3 a.m. in the morning, that's my new job actually, a researcher. Researching people. <laughs> yes, you know, I, I you know, dig deep and go out and find the people that really contributed, but people don't know about them. So when they're nominated, all of a sudden their friends or their colleagues are like, wow, I didn't know that you do that. So, you know, the list seems long, but they all deserve to be on there. They deserve for people to know what they're doing. Even if they don't win, at least people are going to know mm. at the end of the year that, you know what, this person's actually an author or a fashion designer or a script writer. But then, it, but, but then it's whittling it down as well because mm -hmm. you've only got so many nominees in the category. So let's yes. say you've got 30 really good fashion designers. Mm -hmm. How do you decide, well, okay then, we'll have five of that 30? Okay, um, at some point what we do is ask them to send in the materials and we'll see what they do. Like, let me give an example with the film category because I was actually one of the people that nominated in the film category because I'm used to them, we watch all their films. What they do is we we'll watch their film, we attend all the premieres, see what they've done. So it's not only about the voting alone, even if there are 30 people nominated, we add 50% voting and 50% merit of what you've done. So you actually look at all the films of yes, all these very all the films. Good Lord, that's yes. a lot of film to absorb. <laughs> so all through the year we attend all the films. Agree. Fall in love is always there. And no, we say, oh my God, look at her, she's the one that attends yeah. all the premieres, but I attend for a reason. <laughs> I, I want yeah. to see 
the best script writer, I want to see the best producer, the best directors and actors and, and everyone that gets involved in the film, the African film industry, which is rising mm. so much. Yes. Well, Nollywood's part of the Nigerian GDP base. <laughs> yes, yeah. it is. But yeah. do, do you guys ever disagree about who should be on that list and who shouldn't be on that list? Um, we, <laughs> do <sometimes. laughs> we do sometimes. We do, yeah. We do sometimes. We do, we do, because uh, there are some people I nominated and Paulie was like, oh, what if? Um, okay, no, let's leave this next year. Oh, can I say the film? Yeah. I mean, I nominated a few people that she actually called me to say, I haven't seen this film before. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, let's leave it. I've seen her before, mm -hmm. but since yeah. you haven't seen it, let's leave it until you see it. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened, because there are a lot of films that will be released next year because I've always been on set with them, and I see they do really well. I'm not going to mention the names, but I've seen them do well. And, and when I sent them to her, she said to me, I haven't watched them, but I can't decide. So let, let's leave that until the film is out. So amicably yeah. resolved? Yes. Yeah. Okay. No then. fighting. No, no fighting. <laughs> yeah. And there was me hoping to get some inside gossip. I'm disappointed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> with, with Bethel, we're just yeah. so positive. We're extremely, overly positive. You will see when you come to the awards. Yeah, because I, I am coming yeah. along on Saturday as well, so that, that yeah. should be interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, the other point as well is that this is deliberately timed mm -hmm. for October because, of course, October is Black History Month, so the one feeds yeah. into the other, doesn't it? Of course, yeah. It's, it's the Black History Month. There's a lot of events happening, but BEFTA is in its sixth year. Everybody is looking forward to it. They know that the BEFTA Awards comes during the Black History Month. It's a time that every black person, to be honest, it's not just a black event. You know, when you come to the BEFTAs, it's so diverse. Well, and, and that's Everybody, the thing I was going to yeah. ask you in the time available, because, you know, the, the Asian arts are represented, etc. But mm -hmm. some people say, well, there are lots of Asian-based awards, so why should we be incorporating this into something which, by the very title, black, denotes it's for Afro-Caribbean, African? Well, that they are within the, the ethnic minority group, to be honest. But the BEFTA Awards is so positive and impacts a lot of people so much so that even the people who are not black actually plead with us to nominate them you know <laughs> yes they do Absolutely. so we, we don't want to leave the asians out because we think that they're also you know within the ethnic sure. um, yeah. minority, minority group and they contribute as well okay a lot, yeah, yeah. Well, look, it, it sounds absolutely fantastic. I'm looking forward to coming along. And thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule thank to you. highlight what's happening on Friday and Saturday. And hopefully thank we'll talk about it a bit later on as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're watching This Day Live here on Arise News. We're back tomorrow at 7 o'clock GMT. Next up, David Glencourse with World Briefing.